half pounds. So again, all the identifiers of a fresh fish, right? We talked about springy flesh. So we should be able to put our hand on it and it springs right back. See how it does that? Do you guys see that? If it were an old fish, that would not spring back at all. You would believe in indention. So that's, that's, that's something we're definitely gonna look for. Obviously we wanna look at the eyes. They're pretty clear. Gills, they're turning a little bit. Look at these gills. They're going from red to brown. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this, that's, a, that's a quality identifier. Now it's not a problem. They're still pretty vibrant red, especially down in here. But that's a big indicator of freshness. You can see it was packed. There's no evidence of belly burn. Again, belly burn, you'll see a deterioration of all of this in here. It'll be a, a very unattractive uh, color. Okay, so it doesn't look like we have any belly burn. What were some other identifiers? Scales intact. Got, don't have any gaps in the scales. Scales are all intact. Fins are in good shape. Is that a sockeye sandwich? Pardon me? Is that a sockeye sandwich? This is not sockeye. Nice and firm. What are some other pull identifiers? Can anybody think of any? It's not slimy. Gates. We'll find that out here soon. The shiny smell. Got a couple, uh, couple gaps of scales here. These are nice red gills here. Good eye. You can see the eye is nice and clear. So, it's, it, all, all in all, I mean, it's a pretty good looking piece of fish. Okay. Now to take it apart. How much does that cost? Uh, this ran us a hundred, a little like 130. It's not bad. Um, so not not too bad at all. Okay. Um, it's weighing at just under 15 pounds. We got it for just under eight dollars. Okay. So a couple things you can do. Uh, look, not every chef again kind of has their own way of doing it. For me, I'm going to just take the head. You'll, you'll kind of get the idea of what we're going to do here. And I'm going to go right to there. Roll it over. Same thing. I'm going right underneath this this fin here. We're going to remove the head. This guy, let me get rid of this. I need to get part of that. What is that? Oh, it looks like, oh, like a liver. I just, I just don't want to run into it. Okay, so to take this thing apart, what we're going to do, you can see this is a two sided fish or a round fish, so the spine is located right here. You guys see the spine? Yeah, sure. Okay, so I'm going to take my knife. I'm going to get right on top of the spine. And I'm going to, what I'm going to do is feel my way all the way across with my knife going across the spine. I'm going to feel the, the bones. Let's take it. You're going to hear them cracking. But I'm putting all my pressure against the spine while those come across. See that? Gapes. Yeah. See that? That's a gape right there. You got pin bones in here. We got to get in pliers to pull all those. More spine arm. Uh, yeah, just not a great job of taking this thing apart. So 
goes part of the tail. You know, I'll take my bony knife. Follow all these rib bones. Pull off his belly. And the same thing, you know, in the, in the sole, we were putting our knife down and pressing. Now I'm kind of bringing my knife up and following all these bones. Gotta get rid of all this. Telling you yesterday on the, on the demo, the pin bones are in a really interesting place. We've got some here. They run all along right here. You can you can hear them, feel them. And I'm gonna have to get some pliers to pull all those. They go to about right here. And so I've got to get those out. Set this aside. supposed to poach those the fish for it takes probably around eight minutes and again there it's a it's a stuffed protein which tells us how long you know we've got a specific temperature that we need to reach right yes, what 165. 165 that's the most important piece yeah yes yes it smells like it's burning don't let it burn oh crap let it burn Fantastic. Quite a, quite a day. So the poppy I burned. Every, every. Is that an off day? 
Not every day is going to be great, I guess. I don't know. Man, I just, I just flat out butchered this thing. It looks so bad. I'm really disappointed with this. But it is what it is. As I mentioned, they're tiny. That's $30 down the drain, you know what I mean? So do you have to keep adding stock to it? Didn't have to, I, I just forgot about it. I got caught up in the semen. The poor execution of its <laughs> fabrication. And totally forgot. So anyway, um, we've got plenty to do. Let's start with 